Yo, what's up guys, Universal Mastery. So, what I do on my channel is I break down the occult sciences and I break them down to a practical level so that you can use them and apply them in your day-to-day -day life and get real, actual results. Now, what we're gonna be talking about in today's video is something that not many people are really talking about and this is something that's important to understand, especially if you are dabbling in the occult or if you are an occult practitioner. So this could literally be from anyone that is a beginner to intermediate to advanced, okay? This is gonna be important to understand. So what we're gonna be talking about in today's video is what is the importance of baneful magic? Now this has a lot of stigma around its name. When people hear baneful magic, they usually think that's extremely evil and that there's nothing good that can come out of baneful magic because people believe that karma works in the way of if you use chaos and direct chaos towards somebody else, then that means that that same thing is going to happen to you. But in this video, I'm going to clear all of that up and I'm going to tell you the importance of baneful magic. Okay, so if you want to know a little bit more about what I'm talking about, stay tuned for the rest of the video. Okay, so the first thing I wanna say is definitely make sure you go and you check out my Patreon. On my Patreon, I have exclusive content. Some of those videos are gonna be geared towards actual spiritual practices that I break down on camera, and I teach you how to do them yourself so that you get real results when it comes to occult practices. Okay, very important videos, especially um, when it comes to how to do an invocation. I literally have a video on there where I perform an invocation and then I teach you how to do it at the same time I'm performing it. Then we have uh, the other videos that are on there which are gonna be what I call educational entertainment. The video is very similar to this. It's entertaining but you're also getting a lot of value from it at the same time. Okay, so all of these videos are exclusive. They are not on my YouTube channel. They're only on my Patreon. And in order to gain access to these videos, you have to at least be a tier two member of the Patreon or up. Okay, in order to be a tier two, it literally costs $9.95 a month. And that is a reoccurring payment. Um, and if you do the math, that literally comes out to less than a dollar a day. So there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't be able to afford it with the value that I have on my Patreon. That's 100%. Um, and then where you're going to be able to find the Patreon is if you go to the description, you're going to hit that drop down. You're going to see that very first link at the top. It says my Patreon right next to it. The link is right there. That's where you'll find the Patreon. And as you go up in tiers, the benefits go up as well. So without further ado, I'd love to give a special shout out to the top tier members of the Patreon already. Their names are going to be mentioned right below that Patreon link. Okay. Other than that, let's go right into this video. So this is okay. So when we, when we're talking about baneful magic, Let's break that down. What exactly is baneful magic? Baneful magic is using occult forces, hidden forces to cause harm to some somebody else or something else, okay? Now, in order to understand the importance of baneful magic, you have to have an understanding of what source is. Okay, so source is, I want you to understand this, and I have a video that's called The Importance of Source. I highly recommend you go and check that out. Um, before you continue with this video, if you're really confused about baneful magic. Um, but I'm going to break it down a little bit here too. So the importance of source. Okay. You have to understand source. So source is that energy that literally connects everybody. Everyone has some sort of an energetic connection to source. It's, I mean, everything, like every single spirit that you're communicating with, um, every person you've ever you know, come in contact with, everything you see in your reality, everything has somewhat of an energetic connection to source. Some people will refer to source as God. Um, some people refer to source as source. Um, some people refer to source as being the universe. There's many names for source, but when it comes to the occult, it's called the source, okay? So some people say that source created everything to interact with itself. So source itself in its totality doesn't have an intelligence. Source is just then the energetic structure 
that runs through everything and it has a and it has a specific nature to it and that nature is evolution it's always growing it's always wanting to take the next step of evolution that is the nature of source so their chaos source doesn't partake in chaos so the human being and whatever other beings there are that exist we are the ones that have the egos that create things that go against source. We're the ones that create chaos. We're the ones that, um, although chaos comes from source, it's you could think of it as being its own entity. Chaos is its own intelligence, and we, having you know connections to source as well, have our own ego, which has our own intelligence, and you know we have our own um, perception on how life is and how we want it to be, and we we will do. Th whatever it takes to essentially achieve that depending on the person um, so it's important to understand that source runs through everything we all have a connection to source so here's the thing so in our day-to-day -day life there are people and especially when it comes to the government and the system that we're all living in there is a lot of corruption okay so if everything was operating from a place of source if everything was going along the lines of source, then everything would be evolving. There wouldn't be any corruption. There, there would just be people wanting to help others evolve. But unfortunately, that's not the case. You know, we live in a world that is completely governed by chaos and dark matter energies and dark forces. Um, and there's a lot of people, and it's not a bad thing. It's just a part of, it's a part of life. It's a part of nature itself. Um, but the unfortunate part is that a lot of people that have knowledge about this power or about this, uh, the occult sciences and how to use them to manipulate other people, these people don't have source intentions, meaning these people don't really care if you evolve. They only care about themselves and they will do whatever they need to do and crazy things to keep the average person uh, in a low vibration so that they can be fed upon and so that all their, you know, so that most of society's money comes to these, this small group of people that have the real information, have the real knowledge and are utilizing these occult forces. So this, okay, so this has created a big divide in our society because there's this level of corruption. It's not that black magic or chaos is bad or evil necessarily from from a perspective of duality yes that's true you could say that from a perspective of duality if you want to choose a right and a wrong uh but in regards to how energy works and from a source understanding it's not it's just two different polarities of energy it's two different sides of you could say the same coin and it's actually necessary to evolve to have that tension to have those two different polarities so you either you want to learn how to utilize these forces. So, th so this is the this is what you need to understand. So because we're all essentially connected to source, some more than others. Some people operate from a perspective of source more than others. Meaning some people are more willing to help you evolve. Some people are more willing to focus on themselves and wanting to evolve themselves. Um, and then other people are very disconnected from source and their, their connection is very small and they're not really seeing the big picture of life. They're thinking that life sucks. They don't really like, you know, what they're experiencing. They don't really like other people. They're not trying to better themselves, things in that nature. Um, so this is the, this is how baneful magic can actually be very important and can help you ascend. So let's say that you're getting into occult practices and you're starting to you know, perform magic. You're starting to actually do practices, um, whether that's creating a spell, whether that's doing a ritual, whether that's initiating yourself into a certain type of path working or whatever, you know, whatever initiatory system it is, you will often find someone or multiple people that will come across your path once you start getting involved in magic. You will find people that come across your path. And these, there are certain people that will come across your path and they will push your boundaries. They will go too far and they will literally be embodiments of opposition. They will be embodiments of people that are literally trying to either harm you 
or do not have your best interest in mind and are trying to prevent you from getting to that next step. This will happen, okay? So when it comes to light workers, when it comes to Wiccans, when it comes to people who don't utilize baneful magic, these people say, oh, you know, it is what it is, just love them or whatever, don't even worry about them, it is what it is, you know, they, they're just not on the right path, whatever. A black magician takes that as an opportunity to direct dark energy, to direct chaos energy using baneful magic on that person that presents themselves in their path as an opposition. And once again, they utilize that energy to stop that person from doing what they're doing. Now, the reason why that's important and the reason why you actually enhance your, your ability to ascend when you do that is because source, the nature of source is that it can't do evil. It can't utilize chaos. Source is a part of chaos, but it, remember the nature of source is just evolution. It's growth, it's healing, it's all of those things, but it can't utilize chaos. So as a human being who has an ego, who has free will, we can utilize chaos and have a connection to source. And source will benefit those who utilize chaos to direct it on other people that are going against source. Did you get what I just said? So if there's someone that presents himself in my path as an opposition and they are literally not, they're like not happy that I'm doing my best. We hear this all the time in our society. How many people have you come across that get upset when you're doing better? They don't want you to get to the next step. And I don't mean like petty stuff like, you know, it's just like someone's talking shit behind your back. I mean like someone that's so jealous or so, and the truth is these people, they're not themselves. They're, there's a level of chaos that's possessing them. And if someone comes in your path and literally tries to stop you, maybe you see this in your job, wherever you work, maybe you see this in your one of your friend groups, maybe you see this in your household. If you come across someone that's literally preventing you from getting to your next step, from, from growing, they're not, they're, they're suppressing you and they're using their, their mind, they're using, you could almost say psychic warfare because when someone doesn't want you to grow and they put that intention in you, it could be very passive aggressive, but that has a direct impact on your evolution. So if you're feeling that and you're feeling like you're being suppressed by somebody that is truly trying to harm you, truly trying to go out of their way, not someone that's doing little petty stuff, talking behind your back, talking shit, that, that is what it is. But I mean someone that's truly trying to stop you, really doesn't want to see you get to that next level. Um, that is an opportunity to utilize, as I said, chaos to put into that person, however you're going to do it with your baneful magic, and stop that person from stopping you to achieve your next level of growth. And the reason why you get benefited from source is because that other person, if they, if that person's upset with you reaching your next level, this is one reason. Think about all the other people that person has prevented. Think of all the other people that have been affected by that person's energy trying to prevent you from reaching your highest potential. And think of how many other people didn't have either the balls or didn't have the knowledge or wisdom or understanding to stop that person. So this person is spreading that energy to other people trying to stop people from evolving. And I want you to understand that this person that, that tries to stop you and is really going out of their way to harm you or throw you off or distract you or whatever it is, that person's not really them. There is something, as I said, there is a chaos entity possessing them. There is something that is infesting them. You can think of it like a parasitic deity or a parasitic spirit that is essentially draining them and causing them to think that what they're doing is okay. So when you utilize chaos as baneful magic to, let's say, curse that person or harm that person, I mean, you can take that to whatever level you want. It depends on how bad that person's oppressing you, and it depends on you know what your relationship is with that person. Um, you can take it to any level you want, but the point is, is that when you utilize chaos in a structured way, in an ordered way, to destroy chaos in somebody else, so utilizing dark matter energy, dark matter energy to destroy chaotic energy, dark matter energy in somebody else that doesn't have control over it, you get benefited by source 
because it's like what Yoda said, with great power comes great responsibility, okay? And then to give you like an example of what I'm talking about, utilizing dark, you know, dark forces to harm other dark forces, we see this in our in our society. This this is portrayed in movies. So a great example is Batman, the movie Batman. Batman is essentially this is this is all based around the occult. Okay, Batman is a bat, right? He's a vampire. So when it comes to the occult, vampirism is a huge um, spectrum of the occult. It's very important to understand the mechanics of vampirism. But he's essentially a black magician. He's a dark figure. He's a dark character that uses his power, him being a dark figure himself, to destroy chaos, which would be the Joker. Okay, another dark figure. He is a dark figure already, using his power to destroy another dark figure that doesn't control his chaos, that just lets it spew everywhere. Ha 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 ha, just screwing everybody up. And then that person that's screwing everybody up, that's going against source because it's causing other people that are maybe not as aware as you or as powerful as you to not be able to get to that next level. And that person can really change someone's life path and life direction. So it's very important for black magicians to recognize that when someone comes in your path like that, first and foremost, you got to do it for yourself. You got to use and I want you to understand that when you use baneful magic and you're not afraid that there's going to be consequences to it because the truth is, is there's not, there is not going to be consequences to it. The only time there would be consequences to your baneful magic is if you're using it for extremely petty reasons, reasons that have nothing to do with evolution, have nothing to do with growth, and you're just directing it on people. Let's say you direct your baneful magic on someone that's also trying to grow, someone that's trying to evolve and they haven't done anything that's worth you cursing them or whatever, you put yourself in a, in a vulnerable position because if that person's more powerful than you, if that person's more powerful than you, and if that person's doing, you know, what do I mean by more powerful? If that person's more aligned with source than you, if that person has stronger spiritual knowledge than you and is more powerful than you and you curse that person, that curse could come right back to you and fuck you up. Or that person might be, be aware that you did that and then they might curse you and then you'll be fucked up. So it's, it's typically rare that two people that are aligned with source, learning how to master dark energy, you know, doing invocations of the demonic, doing invocations of the infernal, learning from them, using them as initiators, gaining power, um, learning how to be responsible with that power. It's typically rare that these two types of people would even have problems with each other, but it does happen every now and then. And it's, it sucks because it's like, why, why waste your energy on these petty things? And those people always end up, you know, usually if someone is utilizing dark forces and they're utilizing baneful magic just for petty reasons, that person usually always ends up crashing. Something bad usually always ends up happening to that person because once again, they're not responsible with their power. They're not using it for the right reason. Once again, what did Yoda say? With great power comes great responsibility. Um, then uh, uh, another movie example is the Spider-Man movie where there is the, the being literally called Chaos. Okay, so this movie is very symbolic. Um, it's, the, it's the black spider, the dark spider that literally possesses that man, starts telling him things that he needs to know to... Uh, kind of save, uh, pretty much save uh, humanity, telling him things that are in his best interest and in the people around him's best interest, even though it's a dark, a dark being, it possesses him, and then he uses that power to fight off the other chaotic being, which is, uh, I'm forgetting what the other... Uh, in the movie, I saw the movie, I'm forgetting right now what it was though, but they, he, chaos fights the other being that is possessed by chaos. And you know, if you watch the movie, you, you'll understand that. But this is all occult symbolism that's going on in these movies. Um, so that's what a real black magician does. A real black magician is very responsible with their power and they for sure utilize curses, utilize death, utilize baneful magic to destroy their enemies. And the more a black magician evolves, the more they, the wiser they become and the more clearly they see their enemies. So, for, for, so I'll give you an example. As a black magician myself, my enemies are not the people that I see on the streets. 
when I see people um, doing, you know, petty things and people acting out of out of place, that's small. That's very small to me. That's very small. Yes, it, sometimes it upsets me. Whatever it is, that's natural. That's a natural response. But that's small. My enemies are the people that are causing the corruption in the government. My enemies are going to be the people that are performing, actively performing occult magic on the masses to dumb them down because I've been, I've been afflicted by that. And obviously if I'm going to live here on earth, I don't want to live in a world that's run by drones that are being affected by black magic that are, that are being controlled by these people. So this 1% which would be the, the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, um, the inner Jewish rabbis. These are people that have real occult information and they're not sharing it with anybody. They have the real occult knowledge um, and they're utilizing these forces. This is, you know, you, you hear about this stuff. The stuff is starting to come to the surface um, in our society where, you know, there's massive amounts of pedophilia. There's crazy things that these people are doing to innocent people, harming them in a, in a terrible way. Um, so these would be my enemies, those types of people. So I like to utilize my magic and my power to direct it on those people to eliminate them. And the unfortunate thing is though, we are living, as I said, in a society that is run essentially by these people, this small group of people, um, that are utilizing these forces on our society. And what that means, the reason why that's unfortunate is because for the average person that doesn't have this level of awareness that's in our society is being affected by this magic. They're being affected by this occult force that these inner, you know, the, these, these people are putting on them through ritual, through their own magic. Um, so what that means is that the average person is actually being controlled. There's parasitic entities that are everywhere controlling a lot of people. That's why when you see people that look like zombies and you look at, look at people and I don't know if you ever look at people and you just think to yourself like, what is that person thinking? Like what is going on in that person's mind? Like there's so many people out there that have just given up and they literally are like drones. They're like zombies. They're, I call them the masses. Um, and that's because they're being affected by occult forces and they're not even aware of it because the occult forces they're being affected by are parasitic entities, spirits, that suck out their awareness. So they don't even know what's happening. And then if you try to tell them, they fight against it because it's the parasite that they're being possessed by that was sent on them by these this inner group, that these inner Illuminatis, this inner group that's using the magic for that reason. So obviously we're, we're moving in an age where this inner group that I'm talking about is starting to lose their power and it's happening because of magicians like myself, because of other people that are doing what I'm doing and are utilizing baneful magic in the right way, in a responsible way. So that's the importance of baneful magic. If, they, if, if, if there wasn't people utilizing baneful magic, then we would still be living, uh, you know, um, if, so if, if there weren't people that were utilizing baneful magic, which it's going to happen, there's always going to be someone that's utilizing magic in, in a way that's chaotic in trying to harm innocent people. It's how life is. Okay. It's, it, that's how nature is. It creates that balance. Um, no matter what you want to think about it, it does create that balance. But, um, when it gets out of balance and when it's been like that for too long, things have to come back into balance. Um, so if there wasn't people that are utilizing baneful magic in a responsible way, then we would be living in a state, uh, in, in a mental prison for our entire lifetime because of these people that have real cult knowledge are performing real ritual to suppress people's awareness, to literally suck it out of them. And they're using dark forces to do that. So for the black magician that uses their power responsibly, and has that connection with source, which is fully created by crossing the abyss, um, that, that, that person, every they, they gain massive amounts of power and benefit from utilizing baneful magic in a responsible way. So anytime I go to use chaos or baneful magic on something that I, I deem or I feel or I see is out of control and chaotic, it needs to be stopped. 
I gain more power from that. I gain, I gain more awareness from it. I, I simply gain more from it in a, in a, in a, in a good way, in a way that benefits me. Um, and when you're, when you're evolving on your path, whatever spiritual path you're on, if you are utilizing baneful magic and you use it responsibly and you're using it in the way that I'm talking about on chaos, that's out of control. It, when you use it properly, it helps you ascend. As I said, it gives you more power. You will grow faster. You will come to more knowledge than the average person. Okay. Because remember one of the big tricks in our society is that you can't utilize baneful magic and guess where that trick came from. Guess where that, that truth came from. It came from the people that are utilizing that inner group that I'm talking about. It came from those people that told you that they structured our society and they're using magic to influence it, to make people think that they shouldn't utilize baneful magic because karma will get you or you'll go to hell or bad things will happen. And the reason why they did that is because they don't want you to come to the realization or the awareness or the knowledge that I'm sharing right now. Because if people start utilizing baneful magic and they start utilizing it responsibly, then that takes them out of power. So that's why when people first start getting into occult practices, they either get into Wicca or they get into some form of light working and their ascension doesn't really go that fast. Their ascension doesn't really happen. Usually it doesn't happen at all. Usually it actually goes the opposite way because there's a lot of booby traps when it comes to being a light worker and when it comes to being a wicked, there's a lot of booby traps. What do I mean by that? There's a lot like when it comes to chakra work, I'm going to make a whole video on that. When it comes to chakra work, if you're doing chakra work, you're doing a practice that is screwing you over. There's a, it, what the chakras are geared towards is drawing your awareness to strengthen a parasite that sucks your awareness out. So chakra work, no good. But this is what most people start use, utilizing and practicing when they first get into uh, the occult because that's the first trap there is, uh, the chakras. And there's many more when it comes to the Kabbalah, especially like when, when Wiccans or light workers start getting into the tree of life and the Kabbalah, there's tons of traps in the Kabbalah. And then if you start reading books from different orders like the OTO or the Golden Dawn or some other orders, um, anyone that was run by Aleister Crowley, um, those or those rituals and those books are booby trapped as well because they don't they don't give you the right information so they'll tell you to do something that is actually meant to do something else and they won't tell you that and you'll think that you're doing something with a certain intention but what you're really doing is the complete opposite the inverted of that and then that can cause a lot of harm because you think you're about to heal somebody but really you're setting yourself up to curse somebody so imagine that cursing someone that you want to heal or healing someone that you want to curse doesn't make sense, um, but that's what's going on. So um, this that that's it. Once again, when you start to utilize baneful magic, that that level of chaos and dark matter energy to direct it in the right proper way responsibly. This is also what Lucifer is about: being a very infernal spirit in his nature, but also being the light bearer, the the order bringer. He is the spirit that brings order to chaos. So he moves in chaos. He utilizes dark energy, but also wants to destroy dark energy that is out of line. That's why a lot of these demonic spirits serve Lucifer because he's powerful and he, he's authoritative because he brings order to the, to the hierarchies. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm going to leave it there. I think I shared enough on this video. Um, so definitely hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell because I post videos as often as I can. Definitely make sure you go and you check out the Patreon. I'm sharing tons of powerful knowledge on there. I'm going to be exposing all the booby traps that are in the occult and I'm going to be showing you where, you know, what you can do, where you can go to get the right information and how to do it the right way when it comes to initiating and how to really gain occult spiritual power. So definitely make sure you go and you check that out. Then go to the second link below. It's going to take you to the Facebook community. Uh, on there, I post in the form of written content and, and in the form of pictorial quotes. Once I get 50 people in that group, I'm going to be posting consistently. And uh, that's going to wrap it up. So I hope you, ladies and gentlemen, have a wonderful rest of the day or night, wherever you are. And I will see you on the next video. Peace.